Minnehaha County no longer has a work release facility for its low-risk offenders. For years, that program operated out of the old Elks Club along Russell Street, across from the arena, where it housed well over 100 inmates. But as you're about to see, that part of the program is now history, too. Yesterday, crews began demolishing the old work release facility. It was once the Elks Club that converted in 1993 for inmates who were convicted of things like DUI, bad checks, or other misdemeanors like simple assault. You know, those lower level offenses were the type of inmates that were housed out there. And over the years, there's been other technology that's been developed and other programs that have been developed that have helped us to monitor um, inmates that would have fallen into that category in ways where they're not in custody. That technology is GPS monitoring using an ankle bracelet like this one. The sheriff says it works far better than the old work release facility. We can track where they're at, we can track drug or alcohol use. So it's a little bit of its technology. Part of it is, you know, remembering that it was never uh, intended to be a correctional facility. I remember, you know, being seated with my family in the Elks Club, uh, you know, with the red velvet uh, wallpaper that was still there when it was the work release center. The county operated the facility for 25 years, although it was never that secure. Individuals escaped from that facility because the, the windows were just plate glass windows. So if an inmate wanted to leave, they just break the window out and run across the parking lot. We had that happen a number of times. A fire back in 2018 destroyed the building and it stood empty like this for five years. But thanks to that GPS technology and the 24-7 program, the county no longer needs a work release building to operate out of anymore. You can track where they're at all the time. The old work release program, they had to come to the correction center and stay at night. But during the day, they were out at work and we honestly didn't really know where they were at. And the county traded the building to the city a few years ago. And now the site is open for development and perhaps a new hotel is what we're told.